So hello, so, welcome to you all in my other video. And today is the Donny with us. He is basically Indian pharmacist, but living in working in UK. So from UK he cracked this CAT exam. So we will uh, learn from his journey a lot of things. So Donny, welcome. First of all, the congratulations to you to on your path this first time in CAT exam. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your all your support. Thank you. So, Donny, if you can just give us your brief introduction about your experience or your education and so far your experience. So, currently I am in UK, but um, it's unfortunately I couldn't get the admission in in UK. So, I applied for Australian pharmacy registration, uh, and for the beginning step, I just applied for academically, and they have uh, they have provided me all the support and. I have joined their courses and it is it was very helpful for me to waste this exam and cracking the exam. So mm -hmm. it was I recommend I uh, definitely suggest you to uh, you to uh, go for academically and, and we got a, a good teachers and all, all staff members. They will provide you enough support and yeah, so with the help of yeah. Johnny is in UK, so he's my mentioned that if you want to. Uh, register yourself as a pharmacist in UK. You need to go to the OSPAP course. So this is not an exam, this is a course. So you have to go, and there is a very low chance nowadays because only few universities offering this course. You might need to wait one half year, two years to get admission. Then once you complete this course again, you need to pass the exam. So very long journey to become a pharmacist, kind of like a nearly impossible thing as of now, very, 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 very difficult in UK process. They start uh, basically the processing for Australia. So Donny, how do you know about this CAPS exam and about academically? I was researching about the CAPS exam and uh, uh, fortunately I come across uh, your Instagram uh, reels and also I contacted you regarding the scores. So so then I have approached some other uh, like uh, pro, uh, course providers and uh, they, ask, they ask for uh, six months. They will provide six months course so I couldn't go with that. So then I chose academically. It's the best option for me. Yes. So you are basically contact in the Kerala some co coaching centers. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Provide six month, eight month, or ten month, even one year. Yeah. And some of the yeah. fees is up to ten to twelve lakh. At uh, two lakh to twelve lakh, they are charging. They are basically mm -hmm. misguiding the students. I know personally, there are so many. Uh, okay. So yes. how, uh, in your personal experience, you know, for Edbit Academy, so how many hours? Per day you study because you are in UK. Life is very very tough there because you need to work, and simultaneously yeah. you have to manage the study as well. So how many hours per day you study? Exactly, if I tell frankly, in the beginning I used to spend um, like randomly one hour, uh, one hour maximum per day because some day some days I couldn't uh, able to get in track and. Um, to waste the uh, to waste the exams, I spent two or two four hours, and in the and the last two weeks, I spent almost five to six hours for the for the uh, studying. So, uh, finally, if I say uh, in the uh, like last two three weeks, I spent a lot of uh, hours to uh, study. So, Donny, basically, you are in UK. So, there is a time difference in Australia. Uh, so you were attending live sessions or recorded sessions? No, I couldn't attend any live sessions. So I used to attend recorded session. And if any doubt, I asked them through the uh, app and all Discord. We have a community platform called Discord. So if you have any questions, you can ask directly there. And faculty will reply to you. Okay. So Donny, uh, in your personal experience, since you are Indian pharmacist living in UK and UK is very difficult to so you think that about Australia. So this exam is very tough exam in your personal experience or it's like a mediocre exam or very easy exam. How you rate this exam? I would say it's a tough ex exam, but if you spend time and uh, a commitment, you can definitely crack since you all passed B farm or whatever degree. So compared to that, it's OK. You can. But you need uh, definitely a uh, yeah need a, a good effort towards this course. Tony, at the end, you know there are so many students. They are think that this exam is tough. 
and they are not taking the step to uh, to uh, you know uh, to sit in this exam so what you want to say to them you know uh, especially malayalis to you want to say something to them pharmacist malayalis pharmacist yeah i would re- re- definitely re- recommend academically and uh, you can trust them they will guide you mm. Uh, and they will give you the uh, important topic uh, to crack the exam so uh, you can definitely go with that one and, and that is enough for and uh, and especially that's mock and all it's it's helped a lot so uh, if you uh, if you go with mock itself and it will be it will give a, a good result and and Uh, along with that you can um, study some important topics uh, uh, what are they taught us so that's enough and i definitely suggest academically thank you so much acha doni i mean this is a mock test so yeah. how many time you attended i mean like one time three times or five times oh uh, yeah in the begin in the beginning mocks i attended almost uh, six to eight times or something Uh, approximately 10 times some smokes and but towards the exams uh, some uh, some mocks uh, at the uh, end i attend a five to minimum five times or something so is is any he- helpful to you in this mock in uh, yeah def- definitely definitely it would help us because uh, the some of the uh, uh, some of the questions are uh, exactly from the mock and yeah that definitely help us okay thank you so much doni thank you thank you for your support and thank you help so thank you thank you sir thank bye you. bye